sometimes like, and we're like, oh, what did you say? I wanted to say, you know? And sometimes we have to just put ourselves in their shoes and flip it and say, how do they feel when I'm talking a million miles a minute, right? Talking about, you know, just the standard American things that we do, and they don't have a clue. Every day, and they come back. They have grit. They come back, and they come back, and they come. You talk about grit. They have grit, and we need to honor them. And we need to lighten the load. I didn't say lighten the curriculum. I said lighten the load so that they can have a fair chance at success. Because they have the opportunity, and they have the right to have a fair, appropriate, and public education. So we have to do our part, y'all. So I want you to remember that when you're dealing with the ELL babies and you're dealing with MTSS, RDI, um, you're trying to figure out the supports, is to remember that, honor them, celebrate them. Yes. <laughs> Why? It is hard to convert a student out of their cultural group into a class where even though you see it's the best thing for them to you know, acclimate and to thrive and climb the ladder, for them, their question is this. Why would I take a risk on even knowledge and learning and be removed from my lineage, my people, my heritage, who have already accepted me when I'm not even convinced that you've accepted me or that you trust me or that you're gonna give me a fair opportunity and that you're not gonna turn your back on me. So the thing is, is for one, building a relationship, letting them know I am here to make sure you succeed. That's gonna take time, honey. It's not gonna be one or two days. So even though you've talked to them, now go to the friends and ask you go to the friends and talk to the parents. What do you think about the culture? I can just speak a little bit. The, the language, the language